Safari is derived from the Swahili word for journey. It is often said that a Kalahari safari is a spiritual experience, something we require in our busy lives to remind us of why we exist. This feeling normally comes upon you at some point during your adventure, and when it does, you will know that you will have been bitten by the Kalahari bug and will simply have to return. The Kalahari is also just north of Uppington, where one of our Springbok legends, Pete Pretorius, resides. It is important for us to acknowledge our legends of the past to truly understand where we come from. Good morning, welcome to very cold Uppington, we're at the Uppington Museum, and today we're talking about the former Springbok legends from Uppington. I don't think many people would know there's some legends in Uppington, but today we will tell you about them. Umpit, as we call him, uh, was in the scrum -off. And you know, scrum are, are naughty guys. They are like in these foxes, you know. They, they are the ones that making the trouble and then the bigger forwards must, must protect scrum -offs. Wolf Algamation uh, in 1992, the three clubs, Desert Reds, Wolves and Collegians, became one, one club called United Rugby Football Club. And for many years, Umpit was the chairman, president of United Rugby Football Club. And his administrative skills impacted the community even long after his playing career was over. And for him also to become a Springbok was another accolade for Uppington. I think in that era that Uppington produced the three Springboks was like in putting Uppington on the map. People just used to think that Uppington is hot, there's nothing to do. But then we had these guys that showed that, that rugby can be played. And I think apart from them, there's many more Springboks that are walking around here. Maybe not the Springbok on the field, but, but in the community. Guys like them impacted that said, we want to make a change in the community through sports. Other guys can make a change through their own other abilities. 1944, I was in Standard 3 in Wollaston. That's where I played my first rugby against the Fraser Buck Primary School in, in Wollaston. Yes, that was my first game. He started rugby when, uh, I think, uh, it's because his brother was, a, was, was, was good with, in rugby. His whole family, I thought, was, uh, was great in rugby. Well, Peter was always that jo jovial kind of person. Uh, Peter was also, always the center of attraction. When you, you hear people laugh, you know Peter is in that, in that bundle. Uh, he was actually the greatest uh, rugby player in, in, in uh, the Northern Cape side um, ever. I wish most of the rugby players could see him play. And that image of all the, 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 the youngsters could have seen him play rugby because he was he was great. He was great, he was great seeing him playing as a scrum off. Bruising was not a word that he, he, he liked. And uh, that's also why he played his rugby to him. And that's why he also expected from his teammates to be the best. They have a polyans as well, a rugby club polyans. No, all the day, uh, in a place like that, I was an a man who had a man who said, well, I'm a boss. And Piet Brickians lag dwarves there, it's not a hill after. But well, I'm a man who said, 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 Die boos ons het, dit kon het drie gewees het, man, waar is Johan? En nou, dit is oomblik het hy wat ek kan onthou. Well, I think in 1963, uh, that was the first time that North Escape uh, actually brought the Rhodes Trophy back home. So, uh, Peter was 
I was scrum off. And he played his heart out. He knew when to let go, and he knew when to break. He was the, 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 the kingpin of our play pattern at that time. Mm. And that is why we could do so good. During the apartheid years, we had the, the Bantu Rugby Union, and we had the Colored Rugby Union, and that was the White South African Rugby Union. The, the team was actually called the Colored Springboks National Side. That was in 1959. They picked me as a scrum off to play against the Bantu 15th National Side. The team was captained by Grand Coma, who was a hero of the Black Rugby National Side. At that time, there wasn't a Soweto, it was the Western Native Township. And we played there at a school ground. The international match, the Panthers against the Colors. There wasn't any grass on the field. Rugby poles, they were not up to standard. So the, there came a, a thunderstorm. And we had to wait because the poles were flattened. We had to plant the poles again and then we could have played the match and then we could we draw with them six six all. It was proud to represent your Hungary, only the color side of it.